All right. Hello, everyone. Before we get started, I would like to remind the audience that these calls are being recorded to be shared and viewed by others who could not attend today's session. My name is Mindy Hoffman, and I'm the Global Category Director for Technology at PCNA. I would like to thank you for joining the Skull Candy session to round out your PPAI virtual experience this week. I cannot even begin to explain how excited I am to be in front of you all today and able to introduce Skull Candy. We launched Skull Candy just 12 months ago, and it has been enormously successful for us. If you attended the trends presentation yesterday, you heard a little on the virtual life trend, which Skull Candy has been a large contributor of that success. TWS and headphones are quite frankly on fire right now, and we're happy to be carrying one of the top brands in these categories. Skull Candy has not just been successful for PCNA, but they are truly a global market leader, which you will soon hear more about. So today with us, we have Jason Hodel, Skull Candy CEO, Jessica Klenicki, Skull Candy CMO, and Scott Farnsworth, who is Skull Candy's Senior National Sales Manager, AKA Farney. So they are going to take you through the Skull Candy DNA. I think you all feel a stronger connection to this brand and have a greater understanding of what they stand for after this presentation. So thank you to um, everybody from Skull Candy for joining us today. And without further ado, the floor is yours, Farney. <laughs> well, thank you, Mindy. And I'd like to uh, echo Mindy's statements um, with thanking everybody for joining in today. Um, this is a, a, a true honor. We started off with PCNA just about a year ago. I think our first few weeks with the brand was actually at the PPAI show last year. So a little different format this year for the obvious reasons. And I uh, just want to thank you guys for all joining in today. And also want to thank the PCNA crew um, and all of you guys as, as their distributors for supporting the brand so much just in this first year. It's, it's been an incredible ride and uh, we're looking forward to 2021. So thank you all for joining in. And with that, we'll get started. Um, oh, wait a minute, why isn't that working? There we go. So as Mindy mentioned, true wireless category is absolutely on fire. Um, I'm gonna pass it over to Jason in a couple seconds here to let him go through some of the statistics and data on not only the true wireless category, but how Skull Candy is doing within it. We've taken an approach this year and, and in the last couple of years to really focus on this category as it's growing to be almost about 70% of the marketplace these days. And we've really zeroed in on what we call the kill zone, which is under $100. Um, we do have products outside of that zone, but um, we focus on that under $100 and you'll see uh, why in a few seconds here. So people want technology that moves seamlessly through all aspects of their lives. It's one of the reasons why the true wireless category has been so popular. Almost 50% of consumers these days um, use audio as an escape for visual overstimulation, which is obviously something we can all relate to, whether you're commuting on trains, buses, whatever, um, or your car, it's one of those things that everybody needs to tune out or tune into their Zoom calls like we're doing now, or whether it's social media or any other um, platform. Um, almost 70% of people are using true wireless products for different reasons, like we just discussed, Zoom calls, WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, all of these different reasons. So lots of people using this product and using it for multiple hours during the day. You'll see it here, almost 70% of people are using it at least three hours a day, if not up to six hours a day. And almost 80% of people uh, are using their own devices for their work um, needs. So whether this is, again, the Zoom calls or any other type of thing, we've got 80% of people that are utilizing these products um, for their jobs. And most companies do not supply products to their employees for this. So they're using their own personal devices. However, there are a few that do. And certainly we see that that's an opportunity for all of us to capitalize on as we go forward. So what's the takeaway? Takeaway is that earbuds are becoming mission control for many aspects of our consumers' lives. We are taking some initiatives, again, that Jason will go through in a few minutes here to truly make your earbuds mission control. And you'll hear a little bit about that uh, as he gets into the field there. Uh, so we feel like our 21 lineup combines both the functional and emotional attributes in a way that only Skull Candy can. I think if you guys have become familiar with the Skull Candy brand over the last year or so, you'll see that we're quite unique and quite different in the marketplace compared to a lot of the other kind of 
standard consumer electronic brands that, that are out there providing simple product. And we try to put uh, our own flavor on it, our own taste to it. And um, we're happy to get you into Jason Hodel, our CEO, which will go through the true wireless category with you. So Jason, if you're ready, we'll pass it over to you. All right, great. Thank you, Scott, AKA Farney. Um, hey everyone, I'm gonna talk about the market and what's going on in headphones generally, but really we're dialing in on true wireless today um, for sure in the holiday data. And you guys have probably seen this on the front page news. Um, true wireless has become a gift of choice. Apple is of course the most famous brand in the category and the market leader with AirPods, but slowly but surely everybody else is making dents and catching up. And in a moment, I'll show you, we will show you how Skullcandy is doing relative to all the other brands. And we have an exciting story to tell in true wireless. So go ahead, please. All right. So let's start out. And let's just take a look at the true wireless kill zone. And um, we kill it in price points under $100. So hence we call it the kill zone. Um, so within price points under $100, which of course kind of becomes a natural place for gifting, um, especially with the young youthful consumer that aligns with Skull Candy. Um, this really is our strategic target from a market perspective. Couple things I wanna point out on this slide. Number one, okay, look at the growth of the whole market, the grand total, the change over prior year. This is a growth market, you know, 22% year over year. And uh, whenever you look at that data for the whole year, it's even greater um, because the COVID thing kind of pulled forward demand into the whole year and it barred from kind of the holiday. Well, guys, look at who's number one. In the, in, the, in the kill zone, in true wireless, in the United States. It's, it's good old skull candy, your partners. Um, and it's not even close. And then what we're kind of proud about is look at the growth rate year over year. It's, we more than doubled. So um, we know we're off to a wonderful start with PCNA already this year. And we're coming out with even more products to generate excitement. But really we're, we're proud of what we did in holiday and there's more to come. Okay, so, so hold that thought. Let's go to the next one. All right, so now let's look at the whole audio market, not just true wireless in certain price points, but everything, okay? There's some really interesting things here. Um, nobody would have thunk it that the industry would actually be down 7% year over year, holiday over holiday. That's a big surprise to a lot of watchers of the industry. And then when you look at the names that are down year over year in the trend, Apple, Beats, Bose, my goodness, you know, those are kind of the, the standard bearers, right? Um, so then who's growing in this environment? Samsung has done a good job of, you know, taking their true wireless Galaxy Buds and kind of matching them up with sales of phones, okay? Um, and then there's Skull Candy, you know, little old Skull Candy, the engine that could grow in 19% year over year and clearly, you um, a global market leader. There's no question about it. Okay. All right. So now, just like I was saying, um, let's look at the whole year because the whole year is important because of the, the COVID thing. Demand was kind of spread throughout the year and it wasn't as much a holiday piece. All right. Go ahead. All right. So here's the good news. The good news is when you look at the whole year, the industry is still growing, high single digit, 7%. Okay, that's the number you expect out of Apple, you know, le leading growth at 27% in size. Um, and then, you know, that same little story that we just talked about, that consumers are looking for both Samsung, but also really looking for Skull Candy. The numbers don't lie, this is sell through data comes right from the cash registers and it's reported by a third party. So this is kind of our report card is a brand. So one of the things we wanted all of you to appreciate today is just uh, consumer choice, you know, doesn't lie. Um, they kind of vote with their wallet. And for sure, the styles that we're gonna talk about today and the form factors, um, they're working. And the brand work that Jessica and her team work so hard on, it's working. 
and we're proud to be aligned with you guys. Okay, so then let's think more broadly about this. Um, when it comes to gifts, um, under 100 is kind of a magic kind of zone. Well, let's add in everything now, including headphones, on and over ear, um, earbuds, wired earbuds, just any style under $100, kind of a classic kind of corporate gifting type thing. Um, still number one, growing 17%. Um, and our velocity within the retailers uh, almost always is uh, a market leader um, or right there. You know, you can see some of the other brands there that you'd, you'd, sit, you'd guess like Sony, Apple, but we're number one. So when it comes to that consumer, that young person or just a normal gift item, we're, we're, we're here for you. All right, enough with the numbers. You guys get it, okay? So True Wireless is on fire um, and for really good reasons that Farney talked about, it's what the consumer wants right now. But what does Skull Candy have planned for the future that's gonna make True Wireless even more desired, more friendly, more the mission, mission control for your life? So let's talk about that uh, real quick. So number one, you know, the reason why Samsung a moment ago, um, you saw their, their leading growth year over year in the industry, and then Apple is right there too. Well, the reason that happens, guys, is because everybody has either, you know, kind of an Apple or Samsung phone for the most part in America. And it's a really easy um, ecosystem for them to buy into. And then when they, you know, add their earbuds along with their phone, there's benefits that accrue there. All right, it's an ecosystem, it's a platform, all right? So um, somebody uh, provided a chat a moment ago to everybody um, kind of hitting on this point. It made me really happy to see that, that comment pop up, but we're really working hard to put technology into our products that really can make us a platform as well, all right? So let's, let's talk about a few of those things. Um, tile. Tile helps you find your earbuds when you don't know where they are. And pretty soon you're gonna see a new product we have later this year that's super cute. And it, it really matches your, uh, your car key. And you know, it looks the same, feels the same. So now you, if you have Tile on your earbuds, well now if you can't find your car keys, you can just look up the Tile for your earbuds. It'll tell you where your car keys are. Um, tile is kind of becoming universal in, in recognition. And if you go to the store and you buy a tile to stick it on your car keys, you know, that costs $15 right there. So it's a wonderful consumer benefit for us to layer into the earbuds, okay? Um, audio do, personal sound, what's that? Um, if you haven't been introduced to it, it's, it's super cool. Basically, once you buy your earbuds, if you have poor hearing, like I do, because I used to be in the army and you don't always have your earplugs in, um, it actually corrects the sound coming out of the earbuds for any hearing deficiencies or imperfections you have and, and kind of amplifies where you need it, you know, and all that. So it helps you um, enjoy the music and, and just communicate better. That's personal sound and it's enabled just taking a simple hearing test for a minute or so through our app. And then forever, you know, the headphones are tuned for you uh, or until you, you know, you change the, you take the test again. Um, so those are two that are already out there and running. And one thing you should know that is not out there yet, and we're gonna be talking a lot more about that throughout the year. And Jessica's team is working super hard on the consumer messaging with this and the product team is working super hard on bringing this to life is what we're calling Skull IQ. And that's the, that's the top logo there. But it really is, the whole idea is a smart platform and Think of voice controls of your earbuds and your music and your calls like you've never had, you know? Um, it's very common for people to use their, their assistant in their phone today through their earbuds. So there's some element of voice controls, but when it comes to the media controls and having voice controls there, um, and then enabling other applications like Spotify, using just a voice command, hey, Whenever we're all driving down the highway at 70 miles an hour, it really doesn't feel great to be trying to push buttons on our phone. 
if we if we can just control those things with our voice, how great is that? Well, that is all part of this platform idea and Skull IQ. Like I said, it's not in the products now, whereas tile and personal sound are, but it's something we're working on for this year and we're gonna make a big deal out of it. Go ahead, Varney. All right, so just to give you a sense for the, the tech that's going on here, you know, we're trying to be more like an ecosystem. We're trying to create a skull candy platform, if you will. Well, how do you do that? Um, it's not that simple. And it's taken us a lot longer than, than we thought. Um, but it's a combination of everything on this page. You got to have a relationship with the chip maker. And an SOC is a system on a chip. And there's special software that they load up literally on the chip that then goes into the product. So in a way, we're kind of a software company now, partially. We're loading up our own software into our headphones and earbuds going forward to power these kinds of experiences. Um, so you have to have a, an operating system, the firmware, okay? And then the combination of the chips um, plus an OS lets you run different applications at the same time. You know, power up Spotify, voice commands, um, you're running personal sound in the background. And of course, we wanna make it easy for folks, that's what they expect, to upload these through the app store. And then down the road, uh, taking a page out of the magic of Tesla, um, we want to have over the air updates that are super easy, kind of go on in the background to always bring you ever more features um, and potential products that you want to layer into your platform. So that's what we're, we're hard at work enabling, you know, that you're going to hear more about throughout the year. That's going to hopefully create even more demand for the true wireless earbuds. And uh, a good analogy, it's, it's a little computer in your ear now. So before I pause, are there any questions for me? Otherwise, I'll hand the microphone back to Farney. Farney, did any questions pop up in the chat board while I was talking there? You know, I'd have to ask uh, Mindy and the crew for that because on my screen share, I don't want those coming up so everybody blocks the view for everybody. So. <laughs> um, I think they're fielding questions for after the presentation, if I'm not mistaken. So maybe we can uh, choose. Here's one. At the end. Is sound correcting available in all the headphones or just a specific one? The answer is a subset. It's not available on everything we do, but it is available on multiple form factors. Um, and on our website, uh, we do a good job of the feature list by product. Okay. Um, if you have, I see this question, if you have small ears, we do have different size cushions. Um, so it's not one size fits, fits all. All right. That was wonderful, guys. Uh, again, congratulations on your good start to the year. We're here to help you give, give us feedback, you know, on what the customers in the market is saying to you all. And we love getting that feedback, um, pass it through and, and we take it into the plan right away. So thanks for your partnership and have a wonderful start to the year. Thank you. All right, Jason, thank you very much. Appreciate all that. There's some pretty exciting stuff coming for Skull Candy in the near future here. Um, <clears throat> I think what's really cool about that, the long-term use case of all this Skull IQ and the audio do and all of that is really kind of like situation where you can, in the future, not actually even have your device anywhere near you. You can literally walk out of the house with your buds on and you'll be able to make calls, get to your, all your contacts, all that will be supported by the cloud in the future, which is a really, really cool way to, um, to manage that, that technology going forward. So I think most people probably have their phones with them, but if for whatever reason you're separated from your device at some time, you'll still be able to, uh, to activate all your music and your emails and chats and all that stuff. So really cool stuff coming down the road. With that, I'm gonna um, transition over into the product highlights. And really, um, as Jason alluded to, there are some of these products that are gonna have some of this newest technology coming out later this year. So the product highlights we're gonna go through now are pretty much the products that PCNA um, has in stock now, um, some of the better sellers, um, some of the things I think we're gonna incorporate into the line in the near future. So you'll be hearing more about the future products that Jason just spoke about um, as we get down the road later this year. So we'll just drop into the first one here. So Jib Wired, 
We talked about this. This is really one of the main reasons that we um, dominate this sort of under $100 category. Even with something as simple as a, as a wired earbud, um, people would like to see some level of style and, and comfort and also functionality. So JibWired is just our opening price point uh, wired bud and um, just has a, a great noise isolating fit. Obviously comes with a microphone. That microphone also gives you your call and track control. Does not give you volume control, but it does allow you to do all the other functions on your device. Um, through that microphone and also comes with our two-year warranty. So it makes it a great um, sort of opening price point gift item um, for companies to kind of uh, wade into the shallow end into the Skullcandy brand and, and see how we can do even with something as simple as a wired bud. Um, next is Jib True Wireless. So the true wireless category, um, again, we've talked about how, how good it's going. There's also some, some price compression happening in this category as well. So this is our uh, opening price point, uh, true wireless model called Jib True Wireless. And you'll see that it's got a whole host of, of great functionality in it for the price point. So this is again, our entry level in the true wireless category. It, it uh, has Bluetooth 5 version in it, um, up to 22 hours of total battery life, which is amazing. Six hours in the buds themselves and an additional 16 in the case, which is really great for this opening price point. We also give you an IPX4 sweat and water resistant rating which again, uh, not too many companies will do at this, at this price point. Uh, comes with micro USB charging cable. And one of the more important aspects that I think is really important for all of you guys to remember with uh, everything in the true wireless category is that we offer our fearless use promise. Um, so this is a warranty situation where if, any, if a customer loses any one of the three parts of a true wireless product, whether that's the case or one of the buds, um, we will make you whole again for about a third the cost. So uh, most companies don't offer anything like this. So if you lose a bud or you lose the charging case, you're, you're good for buying a whole new set. <laughs> so with us, um, you'll be able to do that at about a third of the price, which is a great, great feature. So next up is the SESH. Uh, we talked about this a few minutes ago. SESH um, is kind of that mid price range um, product. And we, we do this in what we call the P um, form factor. So this product sits kind of like inside the earlobe area. Um, it boasts a really nice set of, of features, 10 hours of total battery life in this one, three in the, um, in the buds themselves, additional seven in the case. It has a higher IPX rating than, than the Jib True Wireless at a 5.5, which also includes a kind of dirt and dust um, warranty in there. So uh, that's really important if you're, if you're going to be really active with your buds, which a lot of our um, sort of target consumers are. Um, dirt and dust can mess with electronics uh, just as much as water can. So we wanna to try to guard against that with the IP55 rating. Um, and then uh, single button track control and volume control on these as well. So again, this is one that you guys have done great with and we'll continue to keep in the line. From there, we're stepping up to Sesh Evo. So this is just the evolution obviously of the Sesh product. So very similar form factor uh, case has been refined just a little bit to be a little bit smaller, but it does boast uh, quite a bit of a step up strategy within the features and functionality of the product. So again, you'll see that battery life is really important to people, especially with uh, given what we talked about, about how many hours a day people are using their products. So this one boasts five hours in the buds, an additional 19 in the case. Another really cool feature is the rapid charge feature, which most of you are probably familiar with, but for 10 minutes of charging, you get an additional two hours of, of listening. Um, again, the IP55 uh, sweat rating, sweat and uh, dust and water resistancy rating. Another cool feature about this is you can use either bud as the solo bud. So if you just want to use one bud, whether that's because you're in a situation where you want to make sure to hear the ambient noise around you or whatever your reasoning is, um, you can pick either the left or the right, which is really nice. Again, we talk about the tile technology for finding your product. So between the tile and also the fearless use promise, uh, we feel pretty good about people being able to feel secure about buying True Wireless. One of the main reasons that people weren't buying True Wireless in the earlier days is that they were afraid of losing pieces. So again, between tile and the fearless use, uh, we feel pretty confident that we've, we've tackled those issues. And then lastly, um, it's got multiple EQ modes. So you can switch between music, movie, or podcast EQ modes, which is a great feature set. 
Uh, from there, we move into Indy. So Indy, as you'll see, is a different form factor. This kind of runs off of that sort of Apple AirPod-esque um, design. And people have a, a great comfort level with this sort of design. It also incorporates capacitive touch and tapping versus uh, the button control. So Indy Bosa, uh, 16 total hours of battery life. Again, that IP55 rating, um, all the track and volume controls on there, and obviously the microphones for communication. And then again, just like we did in Sesh, we're gonna step up to the evolution of the Indy product into Indy Evo. And Indy Evo offers a slightly smaller charge case, but does uh, incorporate a much higher battery life. So we get up to 30 hours in this one, six in the buds, which is amazing, should get you through most of your day. And an additional 24 hours in the case. Again, the rapid charge, the IP55 rating, the either bud solo, built-in tile, this one also incorporates ambient listening mode. So again, if you are using both buds, you can actually stick this product into ambient mode, which allows the product to use the microphones that are in the product to pipe in some of that outside noise. So if you were in a situation where you needed to hear something like your, your kids screaming if they're hurt or an ambulance going by or anything of that nature, you'd be able to, um, to hear that outside noise. So. Next, we'll step up into Crush Revo. So as an over-ear headphone, um, this is an amazing value. Um, if you're not familiar with Crusher technology, just quickly, I'll run through this. Our Crusher technology is proprietary patented design drivers that we put into all of our Crusher tech headphones. That technology is basically a second set of speakers that are the subwoofers, but those subwoofers give you a sensory base. So it's not just a base that you hear, but it's actually a base that you feel and you'll feel it in your bones, <laughs> depending on how much you wanna add into the headphone. Good news about that is that you get to control that sensory base and decide whether you wanna add more or less to it based on the content that you're listening to or your mood or whatever other reason you wanna to decide to, to change that around. So Crusher Evo offers a whole host of features, which is, which is great. Again, the adjustable sensory base, personal sound, Bluetooth 5.0, up to 40 hours of battery life, which is an amazing battery life. Um, and again, the rapid charge, we jump up a little bit in that 10 minutes worth of charging, we get to four hours of listening. So for most of us, we're not traveling on planes these days, but for those of us who do, and the ones that uh, will continue to do that when we get back, a lot of the times you're waiting to get on a plane, you realize your headphones are dead and you've got a five hour flight to get through. So that rapid charge is a really cool feature. Um, again, the built-in tile technology comes with a travel bag. We give you a backup auxiliary cable in case you do run your battery out and you've got something to plug into, you can still do that. And then we switch over to the USB-C uh, charging cable with Crusher Evo. And then lastly on the list here is the Fuel Base Max, which we talked about earlier. So this is our wireless charging pad. Um, this comes with a double coil, uh, 10 watt charge rating, and a, uh, uh, sorry, yeah, and a 10 watt output max. Uh, so pretty straightforward on that one, but really cool product that we've added to our accessory line. And I'm sure Mindy and the team will let you know that there are other products in this category as well. And pretty much most all of the products that I just went through do come in multiple colors. I know PCNA in some cases will carry one or two, and in other cases they'll carry uh, a broader range of the colors as well, but just know that those exist. And with that, we're gonna switch over to Jessica and let her run through how she plans to market all these great products to the end consumer out there to help drive business for you guys. So with that, Jess, if you're ready, uh, I'll pass it over to you. I'm ready. Um, I know we are kind of at time, but I hear we may have a little extra time. So I'll move really quickly to just give you a taste of what we're planning for the rest of this year. Um, you heard Jason talk about Skull IQ, um, but our, our vision for this year is that we have this new flexible product platform and an enhanced digital ecosystem, which refers a little bit to our app, which we haven't talked a lot about, but several of our earbuds and headphones are now on a Skull Candy app that helps you control uh, either onboarding your personal sound feature or EQ mode, and that will support this new suite of products to enable fearless use, freedom, personalization, and connection. Uh, and I'll explain a little more what that means. So uh, we've all been on lockdown for quite a long time now. Uh, and we reset our marketing year on April 1. 
So on April 1, we'll shift to a 12 month marketing campaign called Sound Without Boundaries. And it gives a little bit of a nod to the fact that we've all been on lockdown and we're unleashing and unshackling everybody, hopefully, uh, as we get through April. Um, but it's also gonna talk about the things that you can do with our product, both kind of literally and figuratively, literally that you're hands-free, you're able to multitask while you listen to your content, but also Sound Without Boundaries is gonna be our marketing theme from April 1 of this year, all the way through March of next year. And you'll see a continuity in that content throughout the year. Um, so you can click forward. Um, so just a quick reminder on who we talk to. We pride ourselves, we have a pretty youthful or at least youthfully minded consumer. You can click forward another one. Um, and there are really um, three consumer groups that we talk to. Um, at one end, it's the affluent adopters who really are heavily involved in their tech. They have a high replacement cycle. They're always opting into the latest and greatest technology. So they're deeply steeped in true wireless products now. The other end of the spectrum, there's a lot of consumers that want good tech, but they really also wanna look cool. So, um, so Skull Candy prides itself in having really great color options where you can get great technology, but also packaged in a, a very cool aesthetic. And in the, in the middle are the brand enthusiasts who have a still high, um, high adoption of technology. They're very social media active, but brand is very important to them both in their uh, everyday life and in their fashion, but also in their tech. And so these are the three consumers that we regularly talk to. Next slide, please. So under that master organizing idea of Sound Without Boundaries, we've got a couple ingredients that you're gonna see from us throughout the year on into 2022. You can click forward, Barney. Um, and I'm gonna talk about two of them to this group. Um, the main ingredient of this campaign that you're gonna see, see all year long is around a group of people that we're calling boundary breakers. Um, and the other way that we're gonna talk about ourselves and talk about our product to make sure, I see you guys have a flurry of questions about our technology, about the different features. Consumers have those questions too. So we're really going to continue to elevate how we explain those features and we're going to do that in a really fun fashion throughout the year. Next slide, Barney. So I'm going to talk to you about our boundary breakers. So Skull Candy, um, our history is that we've always lived at the intersection of music, culture, and action sports and board sports, surf, skate, and snow, which has made us a little more of an aspirational lifestyle brand than just a pure consumer electronics brand. And so over the years, we've worked with different athletes and musicians uh, to help promote the brand and help create some great content that helps drive awareness and affinity for our brand. And so this year we have a really interesting roster of people with incredible stories to tell that we think are very much in line with where consumers are at today. And so I'm gonna breeze through these um, and we're, we're gonna have beautiful video and photography. And this is how we lure people into the brand um, with this content again, to help raise awareness, get them excited about the brand, and then we lure them in and, and, and get them excited about the product. And so we're pulling these boundary breaker people from um, music, sports, art, and activism. And so ev in every case, each of these individuals that I'll show you, span they're not your typical athlete, for example. So the old days of sports marketing, you pick out athletes who are winning or on the podium or whatever sport they're doing. We chose these people because of their stories. And because of the, um, the other things that they're doing in their lives or the other things that they're supporting. So I'm going to go real fast. Um, I'm going to give you a clicker signal for any if you can see my face. Okay. Um, so, click. Um, so Kai is a 14 year old now um, freestyle skier. He is ridiculous. He was just in the New York Times uh, with a headline that he's scaring the heck out of his parents because of the crazy stuff that he's doing but he's also a passionate young climate activist um, that's helping advocate for an organization that we support called Protect Our Winters. <laughs> um, Caius and Rasmus King are two young surfers out of Australia um, that also cross over into music and they're now um, getting very active on the music scene and starting to act. So they're not just surfers. Um, Desiree Melancon is a snowboarder who's also faced um, some serious mental health issues. We spent last year um, and are going to continue to support mental health issues. We support an organization called To Write Love on Her, Her Arms. And so we're very passionate about supporting uh, mental health and particularly youth mental health. And Desiree uh, is a, a big voice in that space. Click. 
Um, Brianna King is a New York-based skater, model, actress, and community organizer. She's been encouraging uh, female skate meetups, trying to bring more women and, and people of color into the sport of skateboarding. Um, Zeb Powell um, uh, out of North Carolina is also breaking boundaries of his own. Um, he was the first black athlete to win gold at Winter X Games. Um, and he is also trying to bring more people of color onto the mountain um, through his passion for snowboarding. Um, Basu, so Hitra, what an incredible story he has. He lost a limb, I think at the age of nine, but that didn't stop him from skateboarding, hiking, skiing. Um, he's a sponsored North Face athlete, um, also climate advocate. Um, so again, very uh, multi-layered across sport advocacy um, and doing incredible things and really breaking boundaries across many areas. Um, Hannah and Tim Eddy are the cutest couple. They are uh, both snowboarders, skateboarders, artists, um, and the two of them together have some great storytelling of their own. Click, please. Um, Matthias Sandois is a BMX athlete out of France who also uh, is becoming a well-known photographer. Keep going. And Nolan, so Nolan will be the first person that you see in our campaign. He's a young man that we've been working with. Him and his father, he uh, is living with autism and he um, started at a very young age creating this beautiful artwork and pouring his passion into art. And he also happens to be a skateboarder and surfer out of Southern California. Um, and so we're gonna work with Nolan um, to tell his story and also create some special product with his artwork on it. Next, please. Jamie is the founder of To Write Love on His Arm. So we're gonna continue to support that organization and issues around youth mental health. And of course we have um, several music artists. So Gianni Lee, an example of somebody that's multi-dimensional. He's um, an established artist and DJ, but he's also a visual artist and starting his own fashion brand. Next, please. Guap Dad, he's hilarious. So if you have some time to go spend on YouTube, he's a, a up and coming rapper that's been working with some other incredible artists and he's just an incredible personality and comedian. So if you wanna go get a good laugh, go check him out on YouTube. Mothika, female artist who is also a vocal advocate in the area of mental health. And I think we have one more maybe, or she might be last, that's it. So that's a taste. We might have, we have a couple more coming in the area of surf and music, but you get a flavor that these aren't your typical sports marketing relationships or athlete relationships. These are people who have amazing stories to tell that we'll be telling um, throughout the year. And then the, la the next bit really quickly, um, you can go forward. Um, we have a lot of technology to talk about and um, just as you guys have questions on some of our technology and some of the features, of course our consumers do every day and they don't wanna spend a lot of time trying to figure it out. And so we are gonna um, take a list. We have about 20 topics, everything from how to um, pair your true wireless earbuds to how to operate personal sound to how to activate the one touch Spotify feature when that comes. And we're gonna do those in really short visual snippets. And you can click one more forward, Farney. Um, these are the type of topics, noise canceling, ambient mode, wireless charging, um, all of these things we're gonna do in short visual snippets, one more, Farney, and we're gonna illustrate them um, so that people can find them on our social media, find them on our website, and literally in seven to 15 seconds, get a really um, great explanation of these features and how to use them so they don't have to read the user manual and dig deep into uh, the how-to guides. And so we'll do that throughout the year to explain uh, products and features and benefits. And then last but not least, uh, I mentioned it when I was talking about Foundry Breakers, but we are leaning into our mission-driven work in two areas, um, climate advocacy and sustainability and uh, mental health. And so we, you can go one more, Farney. One more. Um, the two organizations that we support in the US are to write love on our arms and protect our winters. We do support similar organizations, these organizations and other similar organizations around the world uh, uh, in support of these causes. One more. And so 
in that vein, not only do we support those organizations, we support them financially. Um, we use our platforms to try and shine a spotlight and educate people on these topics using our social media platform. Um, but in the area of sustainability, um, also putting our money where our mouth is. Um, we were born in Park City, Utah. We're watching the changes in, in snowpack here, right in our backyard. And so with that, um, we, one more Farney, I think this might be my last slide. Um, we are doing some things uh, uh, directly in the area of sustainability. Number one, um, we've started measuring our baseline impact on uh, our products and our processes. We are moving to 100% recyclable packaging by the end of 2021. Uh, we're also gonna be setting up uh, carbon offsets for any e-commerce shipments this year. And we have a post-purchase returns program where um, products that are returned get either refurbished or properly recycled. And then we'll continue to support protect our winter. So this is just scratching the surface and just the beginning for us in this area, but we believe uh, we're going to be one of the brands in consumer electronics um, leading in this space. And I think that's it, the speed tour of a really quick view of how we're going to be supporting the brand uh, starting April 1 this year. All right. Well, thank you, Jessica. Um, I want to applaud you for an amazing presentation that was lots of information in a very short amount of time. <laughs> so thank you for that. Um, I hope everybody that's uh, still on the call enjoyed the information that we shared with you today. I know the PCNA team is there as a resource for you guys to uh, not only get this particular presentation uh, on video later if you want to refresh your memory on anything, uh, but also what any other assets that you guys need to go out and, uh, and help sell the Skull Candy product in your day-to-day -day activities. So Thank you again very much for participating. Um, thank you to PCNA and PPAI show. And that's it for us today. So thank you very much. Thank you.